Well, one of my viewers sent me two of these German-made butcher's cleavers. One for doing cutting tests with and the other for shooting. We all know where he got that idea from. But um, it was pretty interesting. There is, of course, not much of a point to it other than let's see what happens. But this is a pretty thick steel blade. It is, let me see here, uh, six millimeters, well, six and a half millimeters thick. And I tried three different types of ammunition, starting slow and then increasing it. So these here are 22 long rifle rounds, 40 grains, lead round nose. The next logical step up would be something like a 32 or 380 or 9mm, but I didn't have any of those. So I went to 45 ACP. I don't remember which of those brands I used, but it doesn't really matter. Both are 230 grain full metal jackets. So yeah. And um, 45 ACP, of course, has quite a bit of power for a handgun cartridge but I didn't really expect it to do too much. Next up I tried 12 gauge, two and three quarter inch shells, double up buckshot, fired through a Benelli M4 shotgun that a friend of mine let me try out. And uh, I'm going to link to his YouTube channel down below, by the way. Hoplite Tactical Supplies, great guy and makes excellent videos. Recommend to check that out. Then I stepped it up to the 7.62x39, most commonly associated, of course, with the iconic AK-47, but also used in plenty of other rifles. And uh, this one here, this is a 123 grain full metal jacket bullet. And finally the 556 military surplus. I don't know what bullet weight these are here exactly. Uh, generally the 556 is considered to be less, less powerful than the 7.62x39. But I figured this would actually be more likely to do significant damage because of the much higher velocity. So I figured if any of those would punch a hole clean through the cleaver, it would be this. So, um, yeah, let's just um, get right into it, shall we? All right, cleaver destruction. Okay, so the 22 hits here are barely noticeable. Just a little bit of dirt on there. And there we have a 45 ACP impact. That didn't do anything either. But we also have a hit here towards the edge. And that did something. That bent the cleaver. Not much, and it would be easy to fix. But you know, something happened at least. The direct hits on the flat, just nothing. So we got pretty minor damage. There's a dent here. And... Let's see, it starts get, getting difficult to figure out where. I think this here is another hit of the buckshot. But really nothing major.
Well, it survived. <laughs> you hit it with 762. Holy shit. That's a hit? Yeah. Nice. He just put a hole in it. It's toast now. Well, apparently the first shot softened it up and then the uh, second one just gave it the rest. Yeah, it has quite a sizable chunk missing. And now the 5.56. Five, Right through. That is a pretty impressive hole. And another one here. Yep, rest in pieces. <laughs>